This guy can't do it and send it to you. Ben. You should talk to him. Oh, yeah, he's here. I'm going to Please, the inductees, if you have not signed the attendance sheet, please go and sign. 
If you have not signed, please do so. Thank you.
with some spot shout, go dog and keep them out, but I'm all for them, not bad and long as let's go
bestia genil
Yes. 
We will continue to remain standing as we take the opening hymn, Land of Our Birth, first and second stanzas.
the acting chairman of the Medical and Dental Council, members of the term board of the Medical and Dental Council, our invited guests, distinguished personalities, lecturers, our newly qualified medical and dental practitioners, our friends from the media, parents, good morning to everybody. You are welcome to the induction ceremony of the Medical and Dental Council. At this juncture, I have the singular honor to call on the registrar, Dr. Divine Banyubala, to give us the call to order and the purpose of gathering. Shall we please welcome the registrar? This special meeting of the 10th Board of the Medical and Dental Council is now called to order. Permit me, Madam Chairperson, to introduce to you members of the 10th Board of Council. To my extreme left is Mr. Samuel Ajapon, a retired banker and a lay representative on the board. Next is Mrs. Stella Otima Beidu, is the chief state attorney and attorney general's representative on the board. Next is Professor Stephen Tabri, Dean University of Development Studies School of Medicine. And a representative of the training institutions. I'll skip the lady in our beautiful uniform. And the gentleman next to her. The next lady is Miss Rebecca Bante a representative of the Physician Assistant Group on the board. She's a District Director of Health Services. Then we have Dr. Ernest York, Consultant, Physician, Endocrinologist, Senior Lecturer, University of Ghana Medical School, and a representative of the Medical Doctors on the board. Then we have our own Deputy Minister, Honorable Muhammad Seni, he is also representing the minister for this occasion. He calls himself the rural MP. Then we have the chairperson for this, today's meeting is Dr. Constance Adoyobo a retired chief dental officer, and a representative of the dentist on the board. I'm Divine Ndwambi Banyubala, the registrar of the council. <laughs> Madam Chairperson, ladies and gentlemen, as we may already be aware, the Medical and Dental Council is the statutory agency under the Ministry of Health charged with the responsibility for the professional regulation of doctors, dentists, and physician assistants in this country. The object of counsel as provided for under Section 26 of Part 2 of the Health Professions Regulatory Bodies Act of 2013, Act 857, is to secure in the public interest the highest standards in the training and practice of medicine and dentistry in Ghana. In furtherance of its object, the council is mandated to perform, among other things, the following functions. Ensure that the pre-registration training of newly qualified doctors, dentists, and physician assistants in accredited training institutions meets the required standards. Conduct examinations for the registration of foreign trained medical and dental practitioners and physician assistants compile and keep registers of registered practitioners and describe and enforce professional standards and conduct for practitioners. 
Madam Chairperson, Honorable Minister for Health, every represented by Honorable Deputy Minister, Honorable Mahama Asay Saini, ladies and gentlemen, we are gathered here this morning to induct into the profession, our profession, 461 medical and dental practitioners. Those of you familiar with our induction ceremonies who have noticed that this event has been significantly modified, and this is in compliance with the Imposition of Restrictions Act and its executive instrument, and in accordance with the Minister of Health and Ghana Health Service and WHO COVID-19 guidance and protocols. As such, it will lack the pomp and pageantry characteristic of our ceremonies. We are, however, happy to welcome some family and friends in person. We also welcome our online audience watching this event live on our Facebook handle. Ladies and gentlemen, these practitioners are drawn from the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology School of Medicine and Dentistry, Kumasi. University for Development Studies School of Medicine, Tamale. University of Ghana Medical School, Accra and foreign trained doctors who have passed council's registration examination. Madam Chairperson, permit me at this juncture to address the inductees. Soon to be colleagues, you would have had in the course of your training some responsibilities in the care of patients. These patient responsibilities were however directly borne by your teachers. Your transition from yesterday's students to professionals today implies that human lives are now being directly entrusted in your care. In that is, what this means is that from today, a greater responsibility in the care of patients will be laid right at your feet. As you take the role of frontline medical and dental professionals. This role literally includes the responsibility to decide between life and death. It is therefore important that having met the basic training requirements, the Medical and Dental Council, which supervised your basic training, formally admits you into the profession, registers you, and regulates your pre-registration practice, commonly referred to as housemanship you will be eligible for permanent registration only after you have met the pre-registration standards. As earlier explained to you during the pre-induction professional ethics and medical jurisprudence seminar we had yesterday. Dear inductees, due to the rapidly changing nature of science, medicine, and technology, as well as the changing professional regulatory landscape, Council now ensures that your registration on the provisional register involves your open declaration of your commitment to the profession, to science, and to society, our beloved country. Ladies and gentlemen, may I at this point remind you of the shared value of the council, guiding the professions, protecting the public. Towards the aforestated and Council's regulatory focus has been on professional accountability aimed at promoting and protecting public health, safety, and well-being, assuring and maintaining professional confidence and trust in the profession and its members, promoting and maintaining public confidence in the healthcare system in general, and prescribing and enforcing professional standards and conduct for practitioners. Dear in that is, you will be required to sign the provisional registration certificate, which gives you the legal authority to commence your, horseman, uh, your housemanship. This occasion is also to afford you, newly qualified practitioners, the opportunity to interact with senior members of the profession. Make the best of it. You had a session on ethics and law that governed our practice yesterday. It therefore behoves you to be fully aware of your responsibilities during housemanship. And remember that council will continue to monitor 
and track your performance as interns in Ghana. While on behalf of the management of council, I congratulate our newly qualified practitioners and welcome them to the noble, honorable, and truly learned profession of medicine. They must remember that great professional practice experience requires of them a gentle smile, a listening ear, a kind heart, calm nerves, a critical and reflective mind, an unalloyed commitment to lifelong learning, a humble, decent, gentle, and reassuring persona, all of these clothed in integrity and respect for human dignity. Ladies and gentlemen, to our professional colleagues leading the fight against COVID-19 pandemic, we continue to salute you. Our heartfelt condolences remain with our professional associations and the families of all colleagues who paid the ultimate price in defense of humanity. Please be consoled that they served humanity and their nation well. And the profession, this profession, our profession, is proud of their contribution. Finally, Madam Chairperson, Honorable Deputy Minister, ladies and gentlemen, you are all warmly welcome to this very important ceremony, and I hope you enjoy our program. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you, Dr. Divine Banyibala. You see, when he was introducing the members, on the high table, the applause as if it was coming up, it was going down. Shall we please give it to the registrar? Uh huh. Thank you. I would now call on President King to give us a song. Thank you. 
Can we please give it up to President King Youth Choir? Thank you very much, Madam Chairperson, Honorable Deputy Minister for Health, members of the Ten Board of the Medical and Dental Council, parents, distinguished personalities. We've come to another important part of the program, and that is the roll call of inductees. Once again, I will invite the registrar, Dr. Divine Banyubala, to do us the honors by calling our newly qualified practitioners. Shall we please welcome the registrar once again? Thank you very much, Mr. P.A.G. This is the highlight of this function. And we have basic rules around the roll call. I remember when we were about to come, my board members were so concerned. They said, hey, how many? And we said, 461. They said, have you eaten? So if I don't get your name right, know that glucose has a role to play. But importantly, our inductees are sitting in cohorts. And it's one of the first principles of healthcare practice that it runs on teamwork. So I know that some family and friends are here. When they hear their worst name, the temptation is to just go in excitement and start clapping. Please, in the name of our good Lord, resist the temptation. So we will start with the names. And until the last person on that cohort, and all of them will keep standing. Once they hear their name, they will stand up and they'll keep standing to the last person on that call. Then the clap will come to be shared by all. Is that okay? No. <laughs> Unfortunately, um, we, uh, we may just have to support us. The second part is that because we know that we are differently able, some are more vertically endowed than others. So once we clap for them, that cord will sit, and the next group will stand. But the importance of it is that we can see their faces, and their cameras here, TV, everybody, so that when they swear the things in the oath, and tomorrow you meet them in the hospital, and they are not acting in accordance with our requirements, say, hey, I was there, oh, I heard, and I saw you. So the last person 
will usually, the last name will be preceded by an end to give you the prompting. So imagine that I'm the last person in that cohort. We are going to put it into practice first. Medicine, everything you do, is science, experiment before, research before. So let us say I'm the last person on the cohort. I will say, and Dr. Divine Ndombi Banyubala. So we have passed the test. And I'm chairperson with your leave. Dr. Leander Delimwini Araba Bapua. Dr. Anthony Abanga. Dr. Aisha Wumpini Abbas. Dr. Hafsat Abbas. Dr. Damondel Kofi Aban. Dr. Irama Abele Hagan. Dr. Maureen Abba Amoba Abiu. Dr. Elgiva Esther Yabole Abe. Dr. Mariam Abdallah Jabir. Dr. Salartu Soglo Abdallah. Dr. Umar Farouk Abdul Rahim. Dr. Nafisa Abdul Wadud. Dr. Abdul Rashid Abdullah. Dr. Alhassan Abdullah. Dr. Muhammad Atiku Abdullah. Dr. Selma Abdullah. Dr. Unais Tiyumba Abdul Hanan. Dr. Idrisu Tido Abdul Karim. Dr. Gladys Nagumsi Abdul Rahman. Dr. Joycelyn Abouaji Frimpong. Dr. Fred Prentri Abo Jr. Dr. Rebecca Abrakwa Ansa. Dr. Rabiu Abubakar. Dr. Nasdin Abudu. Dr. Muhammad Sampana Abugri. Dr. Abdul Ratif Abu Kari, Dr. Rafael Kosi Achana, Dr. Grace Araba Achampong, Dr. Wilfred Walaga Achilowo, Dr. Eura Ekua Akwa, Dr. David Kwami Yajira Adai, Dr. Abna Ansa Adai Afuakwa, Dr. Jeffrey Adai, Dr. Nene Late Adiko, and Dr. Benedict Osai Ado. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dr. Samuel Kwabna Ado. Dr. Samuela Ado. Dr. Esther Oluwantoyi Ade Kanolua. Dr. Godfrey Age. Dr. Abigail Sejra Ado Blanui. Dr. Alexander Bafo Admakon. Dr. James Admakon. Dr. Raymond Admakon. Dr. Gerald Ayuka Adoro, Dr. Nyentechi Yao Edu, Dr. Jokabet Ama Eduachi, Dr. Ama Enchua Edu Apia, Dr. Akwesi Amponsa Edu Ako, Dr. Dennis Edu Via, Dr. Nana Kwami Edu Reku, Dr. Richard Afrim, Dr. Rubin Sechua Efo, Dr. Kwame Krantin Afram, Dr. Frimpong Ebenezer Afrani, Dr. Gideon Agana, Dr. John Jude Aga, Dr. Constant Kwajo Agoji, Dr. Afiba Amehe Ejiabu, Dr. Yvonne Ejapon, Dr. Emmanuel Ajapon, Dr. Muti Kwatima Ejekum, Dr. Kingsley Nana Ajiman, Dr. Ajua Pukua Ajiman, Dr. Gideon Ajanim Boatin, Dr. Anthony Ajanim Boatin, Dr. Gertrude Caroline Osabia Ajapon, Dr. Kwabna Obin Ajapon, Dr. Petuel Ajan, Dr. Arafat Upia Ahmed, Dr. Nana Araba Edu, and Dr. Nana Kofi Aje Apo Apila. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dr. Joshua Akabo, Dr. Agechi Linda Akalazu, Dr. Solomon Apatiba Akotia, Dr. Ernest Ose Akoto, Dr. Jonathan Kalib Akuakum, Dr. Awimbisi Charles Makati Akum, 
Nyami, Dr. Daniel Akwete, Dr. Feruza Nimpaga Al Hassan, Dr. Zainab Al Hassan, Dr. Abdul Subib Wumpini Al Hassan, Dr. Abdul Basit Madin Yuri Al Hassan, Dr. Emily Nampari Al Hassan, Dr. Mu Barik Al Hassan, Dr. Ogania Akuswa Al Hassan, Dr. Rahima Wunam Al Hassan, Dr. Owen Lua Yar Ali, Dr. Joseph Besepwa Alira, Dr. Fuano Peku Alo, Dr. Justice Nobu Aloti, Dr. Abdul Wadud Amadu, Dr. Askanda Bayaka Amadu, Dr. Roda Wunam Amadu, Dr. Abina Edua Amanin Kwaten, Dr. Emmanuel Amanin Kwaten, Dr. Kwami Amano, Dr. Matthew Otu Amano, Dr. Hafsad Ahmed Ameher, Dr. Cassandra Emisa, Dr. Samsu Dean Amwa, Dr. Vincentia Amwako, Dr. Abigail Roda Amwako, Dr. Yawatin Amwako, Dr. Nana Ekia Enunyam Amu Kwaten, Dr. Kwame Ousu Amu Mensa, Dr. Nana Ken Amunu Benson, Dr. Audrey Sewa Ampedu, Dr. Emmanuel Ampong, Dr. Nana Kwejo Jesse Sapon Ampon Sem, Dr. Gerald Amprofi, Dr. Darwin Anafu, Dr. Nayram Anaglati, Dr. Philomena Chire Anani, Dr. Glenn Tete Sika Amon, Dr. Tracy Sonia Enim, Dr. Phyllis Anan, Dr. Richardson Edwin Anan, Dr. Michael Ofori Ansan, and Dr. Justice Echo Anthony. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dr. Bernard Atta Entry Senior, Dr. Frank Kusi Entry, Dr. Aji Dumoyako Anapo, Dr. Ochena Oje Chuku. Efo Naya Apa Kama, Dr. Eunice Nana Ya Apao, Dr. Sheila Posirba Apia, Dr. Akosia Techua Apa, Dr. Samuel Apa Mreku, Dr. Eva Jacqueline Apa Sampong, Dr. Joseph Danka Epieji, Dr. Benedicta Yodua Apia, Dr. Elvis Angelo Apia, Dr. Koran Diewu Apia, Dr. Tidosia Emisa Apia, Dr. Koswa Yeboa Apia Kubi, Dr. Mary Mami Sewa Apia Tu, Dr. Gideon Nana Ata Ata, Dr. Thelma Asanga Dunga, Dr. Paul Admata Asamoa, Dr. Nana Adjua Sewa Asamoa Frimpong, Dr. Prince Asamoa Onyayo, Dr. Emanuela Asante Anchi, Dr. Abena Amponsa Asante Krobia, Dr. Samuel Asante Safu, Dr. George Asante Yebua, Dr. Dennis Safa Asari, Dr. Susie Erabina Asari Amua, Dr. Faith Asaseng Kasa, Dr. Kalib Eiram Ashibi, Dr. Prisla Na Ekuama Ashley, Dr. John Kojo Asong, Dr. Sylvester Tete Asong, Katai, Dr. Abina Otima Esiama Kumi, Dr. John Mba Asiri, Dr. Viviette Ifia Asukwa, Dr. Felix Fletcher Asuma, Dr. Lawrence Asensu, and Dr. Papa Kofi Brenkran Asman. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dr. Herbert Frimpong Atakura, Dr. Cindy Ateng, Dr. Eunice Ureku Kuranting Etiemu, Dr. Clara Afi Mawunyo Atakuma, Dr. Daniela MFA AC Atipo, Dr. Nana Echian Etuahine, Dr. Moses Ameyiri Awinamba Musa, 
Dr. Marion Akamwawai Awog Badak, Dr. Emmanuel Iwa, Dr. Fidaus Awudlai, Dr. Stefani Ayeki Ayeno, Dr. Rosemary Ntiamwa Eyim, Dr. Betsy Ann Aite Ajan, Dr. Israel Kunkum Azuma, Dr. Gifty Sugri Azonre, Dr. Ellen Ba, Dr. Philip Danrinta Balabore, Dr. Ajwa Sewa Bunsu Bauwa, Dr. Sakur Tepagya Baba, Dr. Darlene Fosua Bedu, Dr. Sheila Achampuma Bedu, Dr. Paul Wolanyo Maka, Dr. Gabriel Eduji Banini, Dr. Peter Bano Bure, Dr. Hamza Bashir, Dr. Osama Bashir, Dr. Johnson Do Bedi, Dr. Samuel Safro Bekwan, Dr. Josephine Nana Ama Yebua Bene, Dr. Kian Cole Kachi Bezeng, Dr. Dominica Ambaguen Bila, Dr. Lois Bilson, Dr. Ransford Dio, Dr. Victoria Nana Asantua Buedu, Dr. Ronald Hakim Buampong, Dr. Efia Ebrefi Boating, Dr. Gertrude Achampoma Boating, and Dr. Ajman Boating. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dr. Peter Boatin, Dr. Hezron Bonzi, Dr. Edna Bongche, Dr. Gracia Asante Breman, Dr. Nana Frimpon Mansu Boabing, Dr. Emmanuel Opon Boama, Dr. Ahmed Sambian Bukhari, Dr. Nana Dede Chate, Dr. Kadra Khadija Chotia, Dr. Nana Ya Domasa, the banker, Dr. Augustine Kwabna Dabu, Dr. Roland Dazi, Dr. Emmanuel Sedem Danklu, Dr. Teresa Dansu, Dr. Abba Kwakuma Dapa, Dr. Prosper Tapila, Dr. Edem Koju Dake, Dr. Akosia Boatin Dakwa, Dr. Patricia Asariwa Dakwa, Dr. Johnson Kweku Deko, Dr. Jafet Dela Deko, Dr. Kwajo Benny Diewu Jr., Dr. Abna Abdi Dixon, Dr. Roy Abwaji Jan, Dr. James Kwesi Jangmate, Dr. Belinda Do, Dr. Andrew Elikem Domenu, Dr. Daniela Achremi Dugan, Dr. Mesak Kilbiswa Dut, Dr. Lorien Miva Kayamb. Jali, Dr. Winfred Adam Efa, Dr. Ijakpovi Apo Meyubu Ehihi, Dr. Gilbert Esando, Dr. Kweku Bediako Esel, Dr. Noah Kofi Esel, Dr. Rama Titlayo Patau, Dr. Davidel Ajua Watma Peka, Dr. Dominic Forson, Dr. Nana Kwesi Sechi Frimpong, Dr. Nana Oyo Glover, Dr. Desmond Sedem Gomado, Dr. Roxin Gosh, Dr. Abdul Samed Fazel Gunu, Dr. Grigory Jemfi Koku, Dr. Mavis Etian Jesse, Dr. Kenneth Sokros Jebi, Dr. Alfred Jema, Dr. David Tise Jema, Dr. Francis Hagan, Dr. Abdul Rahman Haruna Sachibu, Dr. Abdul Mumin Zida Haruna and Dr. Hamdala Samwini Haruna. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I think at this stage I've earned an applause. Thank you. Dr. Enam Awo Elichi. Dr. Shelley Enyonam Heno, Dr. Frederick Hockman, Dr. Ishmael Atta Ibrahim, Dr. Sadija Oasis Ibrahim, Dr. Fatima Chentuni Idrisu, Dr. Saud Hadir Idris, 
Dr. Munachimso Devina Ilo, Dr. Emmanuel Paako Insando, Dr. Fatia Inusa, Dr. Nashihad Isahak, Dr. Solomon Daga, Dr. Muhammad Damardin, Dr. Abeba John, Dr. Ophelia Baba Jonfia Essien, Dr. Michael Tia Joseph, Dr. Kayumba Julius, Dr. Grace Akosia can come, Dr. Randolph Broby can come, Dr. Evans Karikari Mansa, Dr. Naomi Ama Tadado, Dr. Rorensia Mawinyo Tetesi, Dr. Calvin Kwaju, Dr. Akosua Kwachiwa Kwenidu, Dr. Emmanuel Kofi Kwenidu, Dr. Jones Human Conlan, Dr. Emmanuel Damigo Francis Conlan, Dr. Rashid Connie, Dr. Rebecca Konto, Dr. Henry Kofi Edzi Comson, Dr. David Comson, Dr. Selassie Chimaka Konto, Dr. Lord Ayram Kudolo, Dr. Bernice Seyram Kumasa, Dr. John A.J. Kusi, Dr. Emanuela Safwa Kusi Menu, Dr. Hubert Hans Kutina, Dr. Benedict Ansunu Kupur, Dr. Simon Tete Kwao, and Dr. Sharon Kwashiga Asem. Thank you, thank you. Please don't let the applause die. They have fought a battle of six, seven years and more. <laughs> Dr. Waja Jabadi Kwesi, Dr. Bradche, Dr. Luke Benimbamili, Ken Be, Dr. Abina Aduma Chire, Dr. Beta Chirema, Dr. Dominic Yobat Lar, Dr. Tarika Dayar, Larwani, Dr. Karen Lampe, Dr. Kweku Ofe Labi, Dr. Samuel Enoch Labi, Dr. Casey Labi Late, Dr. Augustina Beatrice Lai, Dr. Nazib Raman Mama, Dr. Salom Achu Maglo, Dr. Albertina Eurama Awote Mankoi, Dr. Kwame Tansu Mafo, Dr. Shalom Mark, Dr. Jude Amartinga Mba. Dr. Amum Nima Safua Mendes, Dr. Doreen Esi Mensa, Dr. Ernest Ebo Mensa, Dr. Gideon Mensa, Dr. Lawrence Abo Mensa, Dr. Jeffrey Ose Mills, Dr. Abu Suleiman Muhammad, Dr. Alhassan Mandia Muhammad, Dr. Faiza Muhammad, Dr. Muhammad Mahe Muhammad, Dr. Yahya Nabali Muhammad, Dr. Musa Moro. Dr. Iman Muntaka Mubarak, Dr. Kanyite Aisha Mumuni, Dr. Bawa Bayong Mumuni, Dr. Abdul Rashid Muniru, Dr. Fatima Mustafa, Dr. Najib Muhammad Nabu, Dr. Joshua Ngula Nabu, Dr. Banangwini Nakoli, Dr. Jill Waris Njafa Ngamboket. Dr. Lydia Ama Ntowa Nkansa, Dr. Gloria Asam Kuma Nkrumah, Dr. Pinahas Nkrumah, Dr. Gideon Emuesi Ntama, Dr. Michael Nyantechi Ntoru, Dr. Alfred Damwa Nto, Dr. Abudi Nyama Dankwa, Dr. Frida Nako Nyoete, Dr. Edna Doche Nyohoho, Dr. Prince Nurekina, Dr. Abdel Basit Wumpini Nuru Hamed, and Dr. Fushini Nuruddin. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dr. Bernard Akobire Nyaba, Dr. Emmanuel Nyama, Dr. Osetutu Nyami Kasi. Dr. Percy Ohini Nyante, Dr. Baratu Titika Nyari, Dr. Richard Ranti Nyakon, Dr. Jemima Ekua Mfum Oben, Dr. Jude Obing Achampon, 
Dr. Nana Ekuya Obin Okon, Dr. Nana Adebia Ya Obese, Dr. Carla Chidibin Obi, Dr. Doreen Daku Obiri, Dr. Samuela Obri Yeboa, Dr. Charlotte Afu Odru, Dr. Edmond Otuakwa Ofe, Dr. Rejoice Ofori, Dr. Oluwa Tumilola Temi Lolua Ogun Bawo, Dr. Edwina Nana Ya Olu Fagbemi, Dr. Ogihi Wedi Stefan Omo Gal Agoja, Dr. Jemima Osarithin Omorugbe, Dr. Yao Obin Opari Ado, Dr. Prince Opoku Ajman, Dr. Jacob Opoku, Dr. Klinsman Opoku, Dr. Kwesi Asante Opoku, Dr. Emmanuel Opon Abra, Dr. Daniel Opon Ochri Jr., Dr. Ekuya Konedu Opon, Dr. Enoch Ose Mensa, Dr. Kezia Asbe Ose, Dr. Elma Ose Ajman, Dr. Kenneth Ajman Ose Wusu, Dr. Benedicta Ajoko Osikere, Dr. Hassan Osman, Dr. John Chukwe Buka Ota, Dr. Nana Ya Otubwa, Dr. Eunice Ampofua Ousu, Dr. Goodwill Ajman Ousu, Dr. Michael Otu Ousu, Dr. Marvin Ousu Ajman, Dr. Olivia Ousu Ansa, Dr. Sarah Ousu Bempa, Dr. Kwajo Ousu Bwapin, Dr. Brenda Ousu Jemfi, Dr. Abigail Ousu Jima, Dr. Charlotte Oyamam Pencil, Dr. Ernest Newton Panka, Dr. Samuel Pare, Dr. D. Dubi Pokperal, Dr. Marian Zipora Kwansa, Dr. Telma Mami Ya Korte, and Dr. Vanessa Abukoma Kwe. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dr. Cornelius Atakwesin, Dr. Joycelyn Kwesin, Dr. Salifu Bang Smith Ramadan, Dr. Adam Fidelis Saka, Dr. Samuel Okain Sain, Dr. Julius Sapo, Dr. Papa Yas Safu Kantanka, Dr. Raymond Idujemfi Safu, Dr. Seth Sapon, Dr. Adjua Apia Sapon, Dr. Kwabna Asoako Sapon, Dr. Ilham Maltiti Sayut, Dr. Justine Sefa Bwachi, Dr. Kala Fada Seidu, Dr. Ibrahim Makoni Seidu, Dr. Samuel Setre, Dr. Tungbani Emmanuel Saibu, Dr. Florence Jobweki Shade, Dr. Prince Andrews Fofi Sion, Dr. Mark Anthony Sianka, Dr. Yvonne Sovel Silo, Dr. Anayem Diradi Simono, Dr. Derek Etonam Sogan, Dr. Hannah Elsie Asma Sorry, Dr. Walasi Atam Mary Sraku, Dr. Solomon Chinjire Star, Dr. Liodina Steel Dazi, Dr. Stephanie Oba Ya Stuba, Dr. Abdul Razak Safiano, Dr. Mustafa Sulemana Zakaria, Dr. Zakaria Saka Sule, Dr. William Tabi, Dr. Cindy Techi Manson, Dr. Seth Techi, Dr. Ellen Sewa Naki Tamate, Dr. Jasta Atribawone Tamke, Dr. Nura Mubaratu Tamko Kweb, Dr. Albert Balba Teng Yang, Dr. Claudia Esther Tete, Dr. Susan Yodra Tete, Dr. Susanna Dr. Melody Thompson, Dr. Anthony Jimadekbo Timinka, Dr. Vanier Bentum Texan, Dr. Fred Amankwa Kini, Dr. Samuel Kini, Dr. Kweku Opoku Brinchum Chumesi, Dr. Zakaria Chumesi Ankara, Dr. Faiza Hasana Umaru, Dr. Rudolf Bijabdu Wasa, Dr. Roda Eduse Yafi, and Dr. Tracy Wilson.
Thank you, thank you. Dr. Emmanuel Lame Wio, Dr. Abubakar Wumpeni, Dr. Abdul Nasir Wuni, Dr. Beryl Yayira Efua Wuto, Dr. Nazifa Yakubu, Dr. Theophilus Yani, Dr. Kirk Akambe Yafo, Dr. Baba Ansamba Yorson, Dr. Dibora Ipin Yayeman, Dr. Ama Boachua Yeboa, Dr. Fifi Aiden Yeboa, Dr. Kweku Amua Yeboa, Dr. Kwame Jira Yeboa, Dr. Lillian Abrafi Yeboa, Dr. Nana Kofi Abuaji Yeboa, Dr. Kweku Yeboa Ababio, Dr. Marun Sorebang Ziem, Dr. Ellis Yafi Anchi, and Dr. Ajwa Ejokuma Jima. Thank you, thank you. You have been a wonderful, wonderful support. Now, before we get to the swearing of the oath, first, may all inductees be upstanding and don your white coats now. The white coats has their names so that they can easily be identified in the hospitals. And when you go and they treat you badly, you will know who did that. And please let us know if they don't treat us well. But the important thing is that we expect our professionals to be in the appropriate professional apparel at all times while they are in the care environment. Look at how beautiful you look. Now, Madam Chairperson, with your leave, ladies and gentlemen, we had a whole day of pre induction ethics and medical jurisprudence seminar. Because of that, our inductees had a preview of what is in the oath. So I give you 60 seconds. Those of you who feel strongly that for some reason or for no reason at all, you feel strongly you cannot abide by any portion of this oath, please we give you the next 60 seconds to make your way out of the hall. Ladies and gentlemen, I see no movement to any of the exits. We are all then public witnesses that they have committed to abide by every single letter and spirit of the oath they are about to take. On this note, respectfully, Madam Chairperson, I present for the consideration of the board 461 newly qualified medical and dental practitioners for admission into the time-honored, conservative, honorable, noble, and truly learned profession of medicine. Respectfully submitted. Thank you, Registrar. Would you all put your right hand on your chest? 
try and feel your heartbeat because the oath you're about to take is a solemn one. And you must take it with all your heart and your mind and your body and your soul. So you will say after me, as a member of the medical profession, I solemnly pledge to dedicate my life to the service of humanity. The health and well-being of my patient will be my first consideration. I will respect the autonomy and dignity of my patient. I will maintain the utmost respect for human life. I will not permit consideration of age, disease, or disability, creed, ethnic origin, gender, nationality, political affiliation, race, sexual orientation, social standing, or any other factor to intervene between my duty and my patient. I will respect the secrets that are confided in me even after the patient has died. I will practice my profession with conscience and dignity and in accordance with good medical practice. I will foster the honor and noble tradition of the medical profession. I will give to my teachers, colleagues, and students the respect and gratitude that is their due. I will share my medical knowledge for the benefit of the patient and the advancement of healthcare. I will attend to my own health, well being, and abilities in order to provide care of the highest standard. I will not use my medical knowledge to violate human rights and civil liberties even under threat. I make these promises solemnly, freely, and upon my honor. Thank you very much. Will you remain standing? Please, you continue to remain standing as we invite the Honorable Deputy Minister to lead you into the recital of the National Pledge. I think you have to remain standing. We've sold the oath. We are not going to go to patriotism. Hmm? It's not only the oath. 
but loyal to your own country. So you say after me. I promise on my honor to be faithful and loyal to Ghana, my motherland. I pledge myself to the service of Ghana with all my strength and with all my heart. I promise to, to hold in high esteem our heritage one for us through the blood and color of our fathers. And I pledge myself in all things to pull and defend the good name of Ghana. So help me God. So help me God. So help me God. Thank you. Shall we all be upstanding? Say you are the tear robber doctors, the latest hottest doctors in town. Congratulations! Can we give it to them again? So we are happy to have. 461 newly qualified medical and dental practitioners. Madam Chairperson, Honorable Deputy Minister, members of the 10th Board of the Medical and Dental Council, Madam Chairperson, with your permission, I would like to acknowledge our invited guests and some distinguished personalities who have graced this occasion. Without any particular order, may I recognize from the whole teaching hospital, the person of Mr. Abdullah Ibrahim. We have most Reverend Dr. Paul K. Boafo from the Methodist Church of Ghana. We have it with us. Professor Oti Echampon from KNUST. We have the head of the Department of Statistics and Gynecology at the UDS and then Tamale Teaching Hospital in the person of Dr. Anna Rea Simone. We also have with us the HOD for Internal Medicine from UDS and Tamale Teaching Hospital in the person of Dr. Odalis River. We have the clinical coordinator from UDS in Tamale Teaching Hospital in the person of Dr. Samuel Amwakon Esirifi. We have the vice dean, UDS School of Medicine in the person of Professor Gideon Helegbe. We have the president, Ghana Academy of Neurosurgeons, in the person of Dr. Abbas Adam.
We have the acting dean, School of Medicine and Dentistry, KNUST, in the person of Professor Jocelyn Dogbe. We have the Vice Chancellor, KNUST, in the person of <laughs> Professor. I've not even mentioned the name. In the person of Professor Akosuya Dixon. We have the Vice Dean, School of Medicine and Dentistry, KNUST, in the person of Professor A. Entry Kusi. We have with us the Registrar, University of Environment and Sustainable Development, Somanya, in the person of Mrs. Mary Abna Ejepong. We have with us the former Director General of the Ghana Health Services, in the person of Dr. Elias Suri. From C.K. Tedem University, of Technology and Applied Sciences, Navrongo, Professor Juventus BZM. We have Dr. Adam Atiku from TTH. Representing the Medical Director for Legon Hospital is Dr. Richard Yohonu. We have with us the executive director for Yoko in the person of COP Mami Ya Tiwa Ado Dankwa. We have with us the minority chief whip in the person of Honorable Muntaka Mubara. We also have with us Deputy Executive Director, Intelligence and Monitoring from Yoko, in the person of CSO Abba Jacqueline Opoku. We have the Head of Department of Surgery, KNUST SMD, in the person of Professor Japon, Jesse Sapon. So, Mostly the person who had the loud applause when we do University of Ghana is Dr. Jepiati. Today he's not here. So Professor Jesse Sapon has carried the day in place of Dr. Jepiati. We have the MP for Bantama and Minister for Works and Housing, Honorable Francis Asenso Boachi. We have with us the MP for Efidiasi Asokore, Chairman, Health Committee of Parliament, in the person of Dr. Nana Yao. Nana, are you a free year? We have the head of Department of Medicine, KNUST SMD, in the person of Professor Isaac Ousu. We have the Assistant General Secretary for Ghana Medical Association in the person of Dr. Richard Salome. We have the Deputy Head, Management Information Systems, Practitioners Identification Department of the Pharmacy Council, the person of Rosemont Edu Opong. We also have the Deputy Head, Registration and Licensing Department. Brenda Yarira Opon. Last but not the least, I have with us from Ghana AIDS Commission, in the person of Dr. Etuahine Treme. So we'll continue with the list as and when they come in. Ladies and gentlemen, we we'll now listen to the address by the chairperson for today's occasion. Shall we please welcome Dr. Constance Aduyobo as she delivers the address for the day. The applause is too feeble.
Thank you very much, Mr. Puvi. The Honorable Deputy Minister for Health, members of the 10th Board of the Medical and Dental Council, members of the Parliamentary Select Committee on Health, the Vice Chancellor of the University of Science and Technology, deans of the medical schools, heads of accredited medical institutions, colleagues, senior doctors, distinguished invited guests, inductees, members of the press, ladies and gentlemen, good morning to you all. Let me first of all congratulate you, inductees, now colleagues, for the hard work that you put into the last six or seven years to reach this milestone as doctors. Aiko and welcome to the noble and learned profession. You have just pledged under oath to dedicate your, your life to the service of humanity. This implies that the health of your patients must be your first concern, ensuring that you protect and promote the health of your patients and that of the public. You have to treat your patients or your clients with respect and dignity, talking to them politely and respecting their rights to confidentiality. As doctors, you must listen to patients and respond to their concerns and preferences. You must give information to your clients in a way that they can understand to improve and maintain their health. You have to be honest and open and act with integrity recognizing and working within the limits of your competence. Very soon, the Medical and Dental Council would produce the document on the scope of practice for doctors, as has already been done for the physician assistants. Do not discriminate unfairly against your patients and always work with your colleagues in a way that best serves the patient's interests. And remember to keep your professional knowledge and skills up to date so that you are abreast with current advances in medical practice. Medical and Dental Council mandates you to participate in a continuing medical education or what we call continuous professional development or CPD programs. This is essential and compulsory for all doctors in order to accrue the relevant points for your annual registration and licensure. The council also reserves the right to withdraw or revoke your license should you engage in any form of serious malpractice or infamous conduct. A few months ago, the Medical and Dental Council launched some policy documents on the following. The first is the policy on the training of Ghanaian medical and dental students in other jurisdictions. The second is a policy on practitioner stamp, name tax, and appropriate professional apparel. The third, the scope of practice for physician assistants. And last but not the least, the specialist register. Now, the specialist register has become necessary because some practitioners were indulging in practices completely outside their areas of competence, often presenting themselves as possessing expertise they don't have to the detriment of their patients. The specialist register, therefore, serves to provide information about qualification and competencies of the various categories of practitioners 
so as to aid patients' decision-making about the choice of practitioner. I would therefore urge you to get copies of these documents and familiarize yourselves with their content. You will soon be starting your internship or housemanship training, which is also an important aspect of your medical training as doctors. Take it seriously and avoid cutting corners because this is where you learn a lot. The Ghana Health Service, the Christian Health Association of Ghana, quasi-government organizations like the military and the police, and the private sector would be employing you after your housemanship training. Please accept postings to the regions and the districts outside Accra and Kumasi. You will learn a lot there. Also, do not be tempted to look for greener pastures in places like the UK and other EEC countries, as some of your colleagues are already doing. Let us halt this brain drain. It has taken the taxpayer a lot to invest in your indication. Now, as the saying goes, let us all stay in Ghana because if any fear, and as they say, nowhere cool. Yeah. Finally, do not chase greedily after money. The money will come to you if you work with integrity and honesty. Now, before I take my seat, let me congratulate you once again and wish you all the best in your endeavors. You're welcome once again to the noble profession. God bless you and thank you for your attention. Thank you, Madam Chairperson. Please accept postings outside Accra and Kumasi. Most of us schooled out of Accra. Some even went outside. But when it gets to the postings, we all have thousand reasons why we should not go out of Accra. I'm the only daughter of my mother. I'm the only son of my mother. My mother is sick, is terminal. I have to take care of him. But so many excuses. Please, let's desist from that. The other people outside of Accra also need your services. So accept postings. Thank you. We've been sitting for long. It's now time for you to show us your dancing skills. It's normal, yes. So President King will lead us and give us some nice melodies. And our newly qualified practitioners are invited to the floor to show us their dancing moves as we stretch our legs. Please, you are not supposed to go outside. You are to remain in the hall. The program is still in session. President King.
Thank you. You may please have your seat.
Please have your seat. Thank you. Hello, can you please have your seats? So, as a reminder, we are still in the induction mode. It's not a church, please. There was only one thing that we didn't do. I forgot we should have placed uh, the offering boy here so that everybody would have put something small to defray the cost of hiring this room. Anyway, thank you very much. Thank you to everybody. Thank you to our newly qualified tier robot doctors for showing us your dancing moves. Can you give yourself a very big round of applause? So we continue with the program. Madam Chairperson, Honorable Deputy Minister for Health, members of the high table, distinguished personalities. I would like to introduce to us some distinguished personalities who have graced this occasion. Without any particular order, may I recognize the presence of the Director General for Ghana Health Service in the person of Dr. Patrick Kuma Abuaje. We also have the CEO for Health Facility Regulatory Authority, HIFRA, in the person of Dr. Philip Bano. We have the, the Director for Nursing and Midwifery at the Ministry of Health in the person of Dr. Banabas Kwame Yeboa. Last but not the least, former executive director for Christian Health Association of Ghana, that is Chuck, and former CEO for Kolebu Teaching Hospital, in the person of Dr. Gebert Bako. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We continue with the program. We now have the address of the Honorable Minister for Health, and that will be delivered by the Honorable Deputy Minister Honorable Mama Saini, shall we please welcome him as he delivers the address? Well, today is a happy day for all of us because uh, I can see majority in white, white. So let's clap hands for that. Madam Chairperson, permit me to digress a bit. I've been asking this question ever since I became a deputy minister in the ministry. And I'll ask the question today. I've been asking which is the most important ministry in this country. And sometimes I end up answering the question for myself. I ask and answer. Because my students often don't want to answer. And I don't know why. I asked the same thing in Kumasi. And I got two answers. Somebody said Minister of Health. Another man said Minister of Finance. So I said, ah, 
I've never seen a dead person spending money. And there was laughter. And I said, when the Minister of Finance is sick, he doesn't go to the foot of Ghana, the Bank of Ghana, to lie there for treatment. So we are the most important ministry in the country. We have, and we, our mandate is to take care of Ghanaians, the health of Ghanaians. No, be so. Today we are showing in 40, 461 daughters. I know that from here, every day, 461 lives will be saved. No, be so. And I want us from today, that's what I've seen in the ministry, we should have a positive mindset, positive mi mindset about the internal and the external customers we deal with. And when we're able to resolve these issues, we'll move forward. God bless you. <laughs> Madam Chairperson, Minister of State present, members of parliament present, parliamentary subcommittee on health present, members of the 10th board of council, provosts and deans, heads of accredited institutions for husbandship and internship, members of the media, other dignitaries are present, ladies and gentlemen. I'm grateful, I'm greatly delighted and feel honored to address you on this occasion of the induction into the profession of medicine and dentistry, some 461 newly qualified doctors and dentists to augment the current strength of about 10,000 doctors and dentists serving in various parts of the country. On this occasion, I congratulate the Medical and Dental Council on the 50th anniversary and the Historical Medical Trading and Practice Conference on the team Medical Trading and Practice in Ghana. The present, the past, the present, and the future. Are you cool? to the board and the management of the council for this well-attended and well-organized conference. The conference achieved what it was set out to achieve. It was clear that there was an appetite for a forum of this nature. I must say that an, an anniversary is a good occasion to look back on what you have done. I am confident that the council can do this with satisfaction and happiness because it has been a pace setter in the professional revolution in Ghana and continues to provide invaluable services and contributions to the medical and dental professionals and profession both locally and internationally. And that is, may I have, may I take this opportunity to offer you all very well deserved hearty congratulations on your success. I further wish to commend you, to commend you and your families, guardians, and all who contributed to your, to your success. And of course, I extend a special appreciation to your lecturers, mentors, and the patients who kindly should allow you to, 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 to learn through them an important sacrifice that you should not be lost of you, or should not be lost of you. Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, I'm particularly happy that the ministry is receiving into our fold another batch of freshly qualified doctors and dentists into the profession of medicine from the Kwame Kuma University of Science and Technology School of Medicine and Dentistry, Kumasi, University of Development Studies, School of Medicine, Tamale, University of Ghana Medical School, Accra, and foreign trained doctors who pass cancer registration examination. Mr. Chairman, I wish to touch on the issue 
of attitude and conduct of healthcare professionals. In keeping with the high regards that society accords to the healthcare professionals, the society rightly expects a correspondingly high standard of professionalism and conduct. As a consequence, this object, the object of the council as provided for, for, for in the part two of the Health Professionals Regulatory Bodies Act 2013 is to secure in the public interest the highest standards in the training and practice of medicine and dentistry in Ghana. Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, regrettably, often the, the, the layer of specialized knowledge and success, if not properly managed, tend to result in brutal egos or inconsiderate conduct and may make one lose his humanity, the care of, the, the capacity to care. Mr. Chair, Madam Chairperson, any key follower of the healthcare sector would have noted that recent media reportage is replete with claims of professional negligence, improper conduct, and unethical behavior by our doctors, dentists, physician assistants, nurses, and pharmacists. The very people who openly swore the oath and committed themselves to serve us in our in our most you know, our most vulnerable states are now our abusers. This is not this is unacceptable. I say it, this is unacceptable. In accordance with my ministry's focus on issues of professional and institutional accountability, the Council on 4th July 2022 held a policy lunch and dialogue session to outdoor a number of policy guidelines devolved by the Council, including, number one, the practitioner stamp, name tag, and appropriate professional apparel, apparel policy to enhance or to enforce professional standards and promote easy identification of the various categories of professionals working within the healthcare space. Number two, the specialist register to ensure that practitioners do not indulge in practices completely outside their area of competence or pass themselves off as possessing expertise they do not have, leaving, leaving their patients insufficiently protected. Three, a scope of practice guidance for the physician assistants including supervision requirement to ensure physician assistants practice within the competence level conferred by their training. And, and, and the last one, policy on the training of Ghanaian medical and dental students in our schools of medical sciences. For example, University of Cape Coast jurisdiction. We require the support of stakeholders to advance the quality of medical training and practice for our quality goals as a nation. Mr. Chair, Madam Chairperson, government is committed to ensuring that Ghanaians nationwide have access to quality healthcare services. And with the, with the National Health Insurance Scheme, a booster to the provision of healthcare infrastructure and accessibility to healthcare with, with the with the introduction of the Agenda 111 project. Under the Agenda 111 project, Madam Chairperson, the government will design, procure, construct, equip, and commission 101 district hospitals, six regional hospitals in the newly created regions, and in addition to one regional hospital in the Western region, two psychiatric hospitals in Kumasi and Tamale, and redevelop the Accra Psychiatric Hospital. Madam Chairperson, the ministry looks forward to a long working relationship with these newly qualified doctors and dentists, but they must 
remember that the oath they took today, the pre-induction lectures in medical professionalism and conduct, professional ethics and medical jurisprudence that council organized for them and serve and serve our organize for them and then to use that to serve our people with diligence, integrity, dedication, and respect. They must not forget their faith. And I am certain that God will more than meet their needs. I wish you great success in your chosen career. Before I conclude, I want to make a passionate appeal. The chairperson has said it. Please, don't leave us. I beg you. You know, the man said, I'm a rural, I'm a rural MPO. I have only two health centers in my constituency. There's no physician assistant there for us. No doctor, no physician assistant. So I'm begging you. You be there and then we'll get some of the physician assistants to go there. If you run away, by the time you return, we are dead. So don't let me die, oh. remain. So that I'll be among the sister one people you save every day. The way to the wise what? It's in the north. Hmm? <laughs> I hope, I think I've got some grandchildren and, and children around. I've seen one of them, Butaka. And I know the, 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 the son or the son is here. Honorable, I think I'll beg you to get me your, your, your son to go to my constituency. <laughs> <laughs> that is by the way. God bless us all and bless our nation, Ghana, and make her great and strong. Thank you for your evidence. Can we give up to the Honorable Deputy Minister? So he's making a special appeal. Please, don't leave us. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to call on one of our latest doctors, Tier Robert doctors. That's what he said yesterday. Dr. Stephanie Obaya Stuba, to give us the vote of thanks. Shall we please welcome her as she delivers the vote of thanks on behalf of the whole group? A warm and graceful morning to our distinguished guest, Deputy Minister of Health, Madam Chairperson, members of the 10th Board of Medical and Dental Council, inductees, parents, loved ones, and all protocol observed. On behalf of the foreign medical graduates, the graduates of the University of Ghana, Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, the University of Developmental Studies, it is a privilege to propose this vote of thanks to acknowledge the contributions of those who worked tirelessly to make this happen. Firstly, I would like to extend my most sincere thanks to Almighty God for making the induction ceremony today a success. Without his grace and blessings, we would not have made it here today. I would also like to thank all the speakers for gracing today's ceremony. Thank you for all your thought provoking and insightful addresses. This has been nothing short of inspiring, and we will definitely reflect on these throughout our careers. <clears throat> Thinking about how far we've all come, 
our path today has been no walk in the park, considering the many challenges we've had to overcome. I cannot begin to imagine the number of family members here that are grateful that their loved ones no longer have deadlines and exams, at least for now. While we have made it here to the induction ceremony today, this is just the beginning as we will continue to learn as doctors throughout our careers. Paraphrasing the words of Colin Powell, if we are going to achieve excellence in big things, we develop the habit in little matters. Excellence is not an exception, it is a prevailing attitude that we should strive for as medical practitioners. Ladies and gentlemen, a ceremony like this does not happen overnight without adequate planning and an eye for detail. Conducting this ceremony wouldn't have been possible without the zealous efforts of the leadership of the Medical and Dental Council. Finally, I would like to extend a very big thank you to the head of registration, Mr. Apia J, his team, and everyone else behind the scenes for the efforts in the organization, in the organization of this event. It has been a great pleasure. We thank you for being with us. Thank you. At this moment, may I request all our newly qualified practitioners to be upstanding. You may put down everything that you are holding. We want to give a very big applause to our parents and guidance who pay the fees. Come on, let's give it to them. Thank you today, the dream has come true. We are all doctors. Can we give it up to them again? To all parents and guidance here, we thank you for sponsoring us. We are grateful. Today, we are doctors. You may have your seats. Thank you. So thank you to all parents and guidance for the sponsorship, for paying the fees, both the legal and the illegal fees. He said we should buy something, something book, which you have not heard before, you know. But at least you've done well by paying all. Thank you once again. We would like to acknowledge Continuous Education Services, ASP Rafik and his team for streaming live this event. Can we give up to them? We are so grateful. We are enjoying your partnership. We thank you. We also want to acknowledge President King Youth Choir for the wonderful renditions. Thank you, President King. So for your information, they have a pen drive that has all the renditions that were played here. You can get one of them when you are going to play it in your car and then also at home. Ladies and gentlemen, we've come to the end of the program. We are so grateful for your presence. We will have the recession of the members of the high table, followed by our invited guests. And our newly qualified practitioners will remain in the room and pick their logbooks before they go for the jamboree. Don't forget to invite me. We are so grateful. My name is APJ, Head of Registration, Medical and Dental Council. Shall we please? Thank you. Shall we please be upstanding? as we take the closing hymn, Land of Our Birth, the seventh and eighth stanzas.
Please be seated. Please, nobody should leave the hall. Our parents can leave us, but the inductees should remain seated.
Thank you.